Now, there is an amendment that aims to strengthen anti-corruption safeguards and to help find a way out of the country's financial crisis, as the South Asian country of Sri Lanka has been reeling under an economic and political turmoil. This, as Sri Lankans accuse the former president of the country, Gautabaya Rajapaksa, and the excessive uh, powers that he enjoyed for the country's economic situation. Rajapaksa had implemented multiple failed policies, which includes tax cuts, a now reversed ban on chemical fertilizers, and delays in seeking international monetary fund assistance. Amidst a foreign exchange crisis in the country, for months it struggled to import fuel, food, cooking, gas, and medicine. Now, barring to massive public outrage in the form of the widespread protests, the former president had backed the constitutional reforms that would reduce the powers of the executive presidency and to allocate power back to the parliament. However, opposition parties have slammed the amendment as not far-reaching enough in promoting accountability and reducing government powers. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.